free social blade alternative. If you look at this video right here, you will see that a, this graph, as you can see at the beginning, it's sort of steadily increasing. It's a little bit above the average, the gray right here. However, then as you can see, there is this icon, change icon. And all of a sudden, as you can see, there is a huge increase in views. So this is absolutely a game changer to see that, okay, there was this change right here, and then we had this huge increase. So if we open this actually in the new tab, uh, and I'm also going to actually explain later to you how I find these videos, but I need to explain other stuff first. So in here now, what you can see is if you hover over this icon right here, you can see that, okay, what was changed here? So as you can see, it says title change, new title, and then it shows the previous title and the title after. And actually on the side right here, you're able to see basically all of these different titles and when exactly they were changed. By the way, I'm going to leave a guide how I'm making thousands of dollars with less than 5,000 YouTube subscribers and you can do the same. So if we scroll down at the very bottom, you will see here, well, for the, they actually have thumbnail changes as well, but this video didn't have any thumbnail changes, but also there is the title change and now we can see, okay, this is the current title and this is what the title was and it kind of looks because this is really cool because there was no thumbnail change that tells us okay that it's most likely just because of the title that we had this huge increase in views and you can see exactly how the title changed uh, original was microsoft copilot how your nine favorite tools now have ai and the current title is Microsoft Copilot, how AI changed all Microsoft tools forever. So it is way better title. It's a lot more cash, catchy, changed all Microsoft tools forever. It's very, very strong hook. And we can see if we look at the views that this is what made this video pop off. So that's the main feature that I absolutely love, but there's a bunch of other stuff that's super powerful as well. So you can see it gives us a few more stats. It gives all the total views, likes, blah, 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 blah. But it also gives us views per hour, which is something that you don't see on YouTube. I wish they did that on YouTube, on not separately here, but it's still powerful that we actually can see this. And actually one thing when you look at this graph, because here, okay, it might seem like, okay, it's growing really fast, but one little tip, what you want to do as well, you want to select the range. Because for example, if we select the range to let's say last 14 days, now we can see that, okay, actually it had this huge pickup and now it looks like it's slowly re reducing in the amount of views. So just don't forget, don't just look at the full graph because i feel like at least for me it almost seems like a little bit misleading it looks like oh wow it's growing so fast but actually when you real you realize that yeah the growth the really fast growth was right here and then it's kind of like slowing down an amount of views that it's getting so opened another video as well and in here you can see again we have this graph it's kind of interesting here because it also looks at the beginning it was a little bit underperforming and then it grew like crazy and it's still growing like crazy but once again we want to check let's check tw last 28 days so here you can see okay huge peak and then reducing a little bit again so we want to we want to kind of like keep those things in mind another really neat feature is that you have these estimates by views so basically it shows where exactly all of these videos are ranking on this channel and you can kind of see which videos are popping off on a specific channel now let's put in a different channel let's say noah keegan so let me open up his channel right here and if we look at his videos so let me just choose whatever let's choose this video right here and now if we look at the thumbnail change exactly as i expected he's testing a lot of his thumbnails and this is kind of cool as well because you can actually see okay what were some of the thumbnails this was the original thumbnail was the money uh, worth it 
and then we can see that the current thumbnail is just the person a rich life isn't easy so this gives you quite a bit of understanding like okay i guess this text works better than the all of these previous texts so this is something that you can sort of you know take into your own notes and kind of create a database of things that seem to perform well and same thing here goes with a title so as you can see he does a lot well his team does a lot of title testing so again super valuable just to understand what actually is working and if i select last 28 days you will see there was this one change here with the new title and actually if we look at the graph there was a bit of a peak after the title change so and this is the current title that they decided to stay with so this shows okay this was probably pretty well performing title that had some influence on the views another really cool feature is that if you go here to the channelytics what it does it shows a lot of bunch of different information like the subscribers total views so on and so forth but what is different from all of the other analytics tools is that it almost shows you a graph the same as youtube so you see how many views the channel got on a specific day but also it shows you okay they had posted this for example here they posted this short here they posted two videos so they posted one short and one long form video so it's just good to see okay how often are they actually posting and what kind of videos are they posting and how is this reflecting on views and you also got the subscriber graph here as well so you, again we can see how the subscribers are growing and how exactly they're growing when certain type of content is being posted and then we can catch you can see here we got a big jump but i think this is just analytics actually just 10,000 all of a sudden one more thing i want to mention here is the similar channels so here it shows you related sort of channels that are more or less in the same niche and honestly a lot of these softwares they don't really do a good job doing this but this i would say is surprisingly good i tested it with a few different channels and surprisingly it shows pretty really the channel so it's good to do research okay so now the way i found this first video i showed you was basically i put in ai tools in the search because i have ai tools list dot io website a little plug so I wanted to see what's happening within the niche and you go to filters and within filters, what you want to do is you want to select this month or you can actually even select this week if you want or this year, if that makes sense, if it's not end of the year. And what you want to do is you want to select view count. So now what it does is it shows us basically views uh videos by views in the past month and going through these again it's a little bit you need to sort of um understand that some of these channels they might be just big channels in general so they might just get a lot of views in general so let me see let's see let's open up this video right here because i know this channel gets a lot of views so yeah, if I look at the graph here, you will see that this video is actually kind of performing just in the very typical range. It doesn't really stand out. But if I scroll a little bit down, you will see this is exactly where I found this video. And if I look at this video graph, I can see that, okay, this is really outperforming. So if I wanted to create a video related to AI, this topic right here, Microsoft Copilot, uh, would be probably a very good idea to go for. Oh, by the way, there's another feature that I almost forgot that's super useful as well that I haven't seen on other tools. And that is, if you go right here, long versus short views. So it actually shows you, okay, this was the amount of long view, vi uh, views from long videos and this is from shorts. Because if you go to other analytics tools, a lot of times they're put together and you can't really understand, is this channel actually performing well or is it all just short views? So I will say this is an awesome tool. It provides a lot of analytics that I haven't seen elsewhere and that can really help you with your research and just understanding what works on YouTube. However, there are some things if we go, for example, to vidIQ, 
I really love that with vidIQ, you have, I don't have it on this browser right here, but basically they show you this icon of views per hour. So if you just open a YouTube channel, you can see, okay, which are the videos that stand out. So with the view stats, you actually need to open up the video and then see it or, well, you can open up on YouTube and see it on the side, but then you need to open up every single video. So it's definitely much more convenient to just open up a channel and you see, okay, which videos are performing well and you see engagement rate and all of these type of things. And if you look at tools like TubeBuddy, you definitely might want to also use that for keyword research and stuff like that. This view stats isn't necessarily for keywords. So I would still suggest to use TubeBuddy to use vidIQ for certain tasks, but this is an amazing addition to that.